Anyway, guys, uh, we're going to take a look at some of the new uh, things from Wirecast. New version out, uh, minor update, which is uh, 603 version. Add you a couple of really neat features. Uh, one thing, you can use your iPhone uh, to do a screen screencast using the lightning cable. And so we're going to actually go into sources, source settings. And we have a little section where it says Stephen's iPhone, uh, which is right here. And hopefully, let me see if we have to add this or... Okay, hopefully we can just go into Wirecast and just add a shot here. And it says add Stephen's iPhone shot. Uh, just like here. And we're also going to add... Um, some audio so you can hear me as well. Okay, hopefully we got everything situated. Actually, we're going to take out the Stevens iPhone audio uh, and let's try this. Okay, just like so. And we're going to cycle through everything here. Okay, it seems to be working. I do have the iPhone connected using the Thunderbolt cable, so this it does appear to work quite well, just like so. And so that's one of the features uh, this, this works. Now, I believe you do have to have Yosemite um, and also iOS 8 as well. It doesn't work with the iPad, only with the iPhone, so, so far as I know. Um, and uh, let me pause it because I'm going to show you some more features. Also feature a new um, section uh, for YouTube Live where it's kind of a weird way of doing it. It kind of... Uh, YouTube Live, you have to set it up beforehand and go on their website to schedule an event first. And then uh, you got to start streaming and then activate it and then you'll be working now th with this uh, you can r schedule it yourself and you simply open it up here and then you just select all your information that you want to uh, do for your live stream and it doesn't appear to be working and oops it crashed another problem i had with uh, on another mac pro okay i'm back uh that was actually a pre-recording and Wirecast crashed on me um, opening up um, YouTube Live settings for scheduling uh, YouTube Live. Um, it seems to be a bug because it happened in another Mac Pro for testing and hopefully they're going to fix that issue soon. And its ability to schedule live events without having to go to the website. And hopefully once you do that within Wirecast and you choose um broadcast hopefully you don't have to go to youtube first to set it up hopefully it's all automated which would be nice now i also have uh my iphone here uh because i just wanted to show you live instead of doing the screencast uh how well it works and this also works with uh if you do it without uh not within wirecast but it, uh using quicktime uh, compatible iPhone, iPad, and a lightning cable as well work, uh, also works, but it works within Wirecast too. And in fact, we're going to open up uh, weather just to show you uh, application here. For some reason, the uh, wireless is not working, but... And it's giving me some error messages, but it does work. Uh, uh, just like that. So that's some of the new features within Wirecast 603.